Tunisia's Carthage Museum, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is home to 3,000 years of Phoenician, Punic, Roman, Byzantine, Christian and Muslim history, a testament to the region's diverse cultural and religious past. Here that we find the 14th edition of Tunis Fashion Week. Our first exciting discovery, a collection made from recycled plastic marine waste. I designed this collection around two main ideas. Firstly, the sea, and then second, you'll see some metallic and gold details in the clothes that bring in mind Hannibal's armor. And then there's also some special embroidery that represents the goddess of fertility, the goddess of Carthage, Tanit. There you go. It's a part of Tunisian history I wanted to highlight. The label Uta is the fruit of a collaboration between local manufacturers and the International Centre for Advanced Studies in Mediterranean Agronomy, which receives EU funding to help clean up the Kerkana archipelago. The idea was to see how we could implement and organise a mode of production that would let us collect this plastic and then treat it so that we could use it in high-value-added products a process that would allow us to offer fair wages to the people collecting the waste who receive very little money for working in often very challenging conditions. Uta was founded by Anis Montasser, who for the past 15 years has been heading up Tunis Fashion Week. And what's behind this initiative? Is it about saving the planet? It's about leaving future generations a clean planet. With the help of my three-year-old son, I call this collection Uta. It's a reference to my commitment. It's also about leaving my son a better, cleaner world. Another discovery comes in the form of a young Portuguese designer called Joana Maltez, who studied at the Lisbon School of Design. I like to do sculptural pieces. Um, normally, I'm, uh, I use yeah, sculptures to my inspirations. I like to grab um, the shapes. I like to work the, the fabrics, the fabric manipulation. Is it 3D printing? Uh, those, no, they are not. Uh, this is all manual uh, labor. Uh, I like to use my hands for it. Another up-and-coming talent, 18-year-old Harun Ganmi. He loves telling stories through his collections and holds big ambitions for his country. The government absolutely needs to invest in young people, in art, in artists, because that's the future. You can only change a country by changing mentalities. That's how you influence people. People need to respect what we do, what we're trying to get out into the world. Because we have so much energy, so much enthusiasm. They just need to trust us. Mouna Ben Braham previously worked as a designer with Chantal Thomas in Paris. After a difficult breakup, she set up her own fashion label, giving the traditional Tunisian bridal outfit a modern twist. And the label has been around for 16 years now? Yes, that's it. And at some point, there was a light bulb moment. There was actually a real moment of clarity in 2014. To be honest, I wasn't having a great time at that point in my life. In 2014, I thought, after all this time, you have to do what you really want to do. It really didn't matter what people thought. Either you like it or you don't. But I experimented with colors, with flowers, embroidery, with different materials, with crystals, also with traditional embroidery techniques. And I just had so much fun, on my terms. And in the end, people liked it. I had my revelation, and luckily it was appreciated. So with the collections, that's kind of how I proceeded. And I said to myself, I'm the one who's dressing people. It's not other people telling me what I have to do. 
We know that fashion can act as a crossroads for all sorts of connections. Do you think fashion is able to really change things? Fashion absolutely can change things. Fashion paves the way to new ways of doing things, new cultures. It's also very closely tied to the image of womanhood that's projected in the public space. We know that fashion in the past has liberated women, with, for example, women wearing men's suits at work or to feel more at ease within the public sphere. And now the fight is changing shape. Fashion is still helping us to become freer. To be able to dress as a man or a princess. Absolutely, a princess or possibly even an Arab princess. Yes, totally.